Why are you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the year? Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear about... Guys, guys, guess what? I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Don't fear the reaper. Take two. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Gaston. And I'm the Beast. Today is Friday, <laughs> April 6th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Excuse me. Reminder to all juniors that today is the regular registration deadline. Ethan, shut up! <laughs> to sign up for the May SAT, which will be held at EHS. If you do not sign up before the end of the day today, there is an additional $29 late fee. If you have questions, please see your counselor ASAP. Attention juniors and seniors, you are invited to attend an evening of dinner and dancing under the stars on Saturday, May 12th at the Inn at Reading. Ticket sales for the 2018 prom will be on sale next week on Tuesday and Thursday, April 10th and 12th, and the following week on Wednesday and Thursday, April 18th and 19th. Students who have obligations will not be allowed to purchase a ticket. This includes any fees or obligations such as lost books, library fines, even though library is of no more, lab fees, missing forms, and time owed. Get your obligations cleared now and keep them clear so that you can make a hassle-free purchase of your prom tickets. Reminder, <laughs> students will be seated at tables of 10, so gather your friends and purchase your tickets as a group. Also, I just want to say I'm sorry I yelled at you, Ethan. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. We good. It's just a hard time for me right now. It's okay. This announcement is for, get out of my shop. <laughs> this announcement is for any student who is taking an AP exam and still owes a balance for their test fees. I know I do. Please stop by the counseling at office and drop off your payment as soon as possible. Those final payments are due by Friday, April 13th. Spooky. <laughs> if you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ditzler or just hit me up. Now over to Ethan with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, I would go with the pancakes. Uh, just to make sure the viewers are okay, uh, I do accept the apology and we are still friends, I hope. Yeah. And you may stay in the frame. There ain't no uh, beef, huh? <laughs> Park Gen Hai, the former president of South Korea, who was arrested last year in corruption charges, was finally sentenced today. She is to receive 24 years in jail, a sentence that's much larger than would be expected for people of her age or those that have been sentenced on corruption charges. The corruption scandal that led to her arrest was, in many ways, a kind of uh, South Korea Watergate that has been responsible for generating much hate and distrust of the government, politicians, and the upper class. On this day in history, the first modern Olympic Games were held in 1896, 1,500 years after being banned by Roman Emperor, how do you pronounce that? Theodosius. Thank you. Uh, Athens hosted 13 different countries and 60,000 spectators to the modern games. The Olympics was an as an event got off to a slow start, as not many athletes were invited. All the participants were male, and the game was often overshadowed by world's fairs. But the first truly successful Olympic Games were held in Paris in 1924 featuring 3,000 athletes, over 100 being women from 44 countries. Now back to the main couch with the lunch. 
Today for lunch we have General Tso's chicken and brown rice with a biscuit and margarine. We got southern chicken mm, biscuits. A McCrata burger. Italian hoagie. Chicken Cesar salad. French fries. <laughs> Stir fry veggies. Pepper <laughs> strips and dip. Mandarin oranges, fresh fruit. Slushy. Or slushy. Now over to sports. <clears throat> In sports results, boys tennis won at Warwick, defeating the Warriors 7-0. Volleyball lost versus Garden Spot. Softball lost to E-Town. Baseball also lost to E-Town. And girls lacrosse lost to Garden Spot. Boys and girls track beat Lebanon, and baseball lost to E-Town. The track and field <coughs> teams com <laughs> completed a duo meet sweep yesterday afternoon versus Lebanon at the middle school track. The Lady Mounts dominated as they all won 18 events and scored a 137-12 to win. Jenna Razor, Alexis Clayton, and Candice Liebel each won a throws event as the three girls totaled 25 points between them in the shot put, discussed, and javelin. Jenny Young and Faith Hershberger each secured two wins apiece for the girls as the team improved to two wins and zero losses. Jordan Zom and Eli Bazenga led the boys' team with two wins apiece as they fought Lebanon to a well-deserved 98-52 win. The boys' team record is now even at one win and one loss. Congratulations to all track and field athletes on a great day at the track. Today in sports, tennis is away at Cacalco, softball is away at CV, girls across is away at E-Town, boys across is home versus E-Town, and baseball is home versus CV. Now back to the main desk. Calling all seniors who want to help out at this year's baccalaureate. It's a church service celebrating our graduating class at the end of the school year. For more information, there is a meeting in room 108, Mr. Buck, right after school on Friday, April 6th. Please contact Grace Dalvi, Seth Bollinger, or Ethan Gripaker with uh, any questions. So um, if, if anybody still wants to ask somebody to prom, talk to Ethan or Seth or, uh, yeah, or uh, him. Him, him most importantly, and we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you on air here. Attention students of Ephrata High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzok's <laughs> room to pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to step down to pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 130. Seven. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only, or your petition will be void. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation, basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. Uh, maybe uh, Jeremy Bischoff. Yes. Just maybe. But you can't ask Mr. Marzlock, Mrs. Elsherman, or Senior Cerullo because they are the student council advisors. Elections will be held on Friday. April 20th. Yeah, why would you even like do that if you could ask Mr. Bischoff? Exactly. Mr. Bischoff is like the, the king and the god. <laughs> <laughs> so stop down to see Mr. Marzok to get your petitions and teacher recommendation turned in by Friday, April 13th. Have a... That's all for us today. Have Come see Bischoff and the Beast, April 12th through 14th. <laughs> Be there, Gaston beware. and the Beast and Bischoff, most importantly of all. Yeah, he'll be there too. 